Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Welcome back. Uh, I'm having some technical difficulties with my hotkeys because I am still learning them. I got about 20 of them that I got to memorize. But did I not push the right one? If Nope, I pushed the wrong, still pushed the wrong one. I want that one. Perfect. Alrighty. So I have still some issues I see with my camera. I figure video because every time that we do this, we got to roll it. Supply. Focus all the way down to zero. Okay, perfect. That looks a lot better. It's kind of one of the issues with OBS is that they do not have... Oh, wrong button. Uh, they don't have a way for you to adjust stuff without actually being like actually on the thing. So we will get the fuzzies off my temporary play mat because the other one had not come. Has yet to get here. So we're, we're using a kind of a wrinkly stored one. Alrighty, so don't got too much here because scalpers have kind of bought out a lot of the uh, stocks. Move that like that. And then maybe just my mic volume. So we should, because I'm a lot closer to the mic now. So first thing we're going to be looking at. There we go. Get it into frame and actually oh geez get it into frame there we go so story behind this is that um me and uh spud and malatak all had lots of fun um playing the pokemon trading card game on the computer so and this is kind of the byproduct of it kind of a, a little starter for the actual digital card game i'm actually going to bump up the Brightness a little bit more on my rings. Uh, yeah, Malatag, you are the catalyst. Um, I may I may be playing with brightness every so often. Um, so please bear that in mind. So welcome to the halftime show. Woo. Because I need a little bit of break from the actual Pokemon. Uh, sword and shield so we're going to do a, a little bit of kind of a, a quote unquote unboxing normally normal unboxings you know people are doing a bunch of like pack openings 
but since you can't buy packs because people keep buying them all and deciding to sell them online um this format is a little would be is a lot better so i got my knife I'm gonna slice it open on the bottom so I don't actually slice myself open. Always handle tools with care. We'll actually even close the knife up because it's on a swivel. Oh geez, I should have cut a little bit more. That's what we'll do. We'll do that. Jeez, this plastic wrap. And then keep it all in sync. And we'll toss that over there. Slide the outer package, quote unquote package. And then how do, is this another? Oh, no, okay, so this functions like this. We get some status tokens. Some, oh, geez digital packs try to get them actually out of the box custom dice I think I need to adjust the height of my camera a bit more so we can see the whole shit kit and caboodle still pulling some stuff out some guidebook for the for the rules just a interesting format a guide on how to build decks because like I said um, Pokemon is actually meant to be played by anyone by any age it's just that they make it so easy that kids can do it some cool looking th leaves which will be uh, usable in the actual online game. Um, code card, which I'm going to keep because I can use some more codes. Always use codes. Um, and then the next thing is just a bunch of stacks. Um, let's pop this open. Oops. So this first big stack, which is just a bunch of stuff wrapped up together. Whew. Are... Let's... Move some of this stuff off to the side so we have more room on the screen. Set these guys off to the side. So we got our energy cards. Because we need these to actually play the game. And it's just a bunch of the same old um, nine energy now we're getting into repeats so really helpful because you need a lot of these to actually play the game um, in most cases a uh, standard deck at the very least what I've ran into on the uh, online game has been um, specifically more at 20 of the of one specific card per deck and then if it runs multiple energy types it'll have 
a combination of the two, but they generally stay around 20, um, even less with some cards that, um, uh, some cards that like, like to recycle a lot of these cards. So I'll have to sort through those and see what card designs I actually get because I don't know if they are random. And I got a dog going down the stairs, which kind of scared me a little bit. Wasn't expecting to hear a lot of noise behind me. All right, next little bit of junk that we're going to get for... online card game if I can get the plastic junk off or actually some holographic Dendene GX which is a special format and then just a bunch of really decent trainer cards because we need these to actually be able to do a bunch of stuff and I'm already off the screen okay Is that over there and then we'll shuffle slide slide it slide it slide it actually Kind of jiggle around the camera. There we go. Slide it, slide it, slide it. So these are definitely super basic. Some of these come in, you know, you can find in the actual online game as uh, shiny um, or full art. So like these art boxes will be actually cover the whole card and I've actually gotten a few of those um, online which is super fun um, some of these act as energy some of them also let you discard your hand so a lot of these I look like are going to be pretty useful yeah it looks like they give you a whole play set there's about three or four sometimes you need four sometimes you only need three so we'll grab those off i'll have to look through those later because those give out some decent cards like uh i know welder here support card you can only play one support card during your turn or supporter, excuse me, attach up to two fire energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon if you do draw three cards. So that's, um, you know, lets you pump up some of the Pokemon a lot faster, and then you get to draw if you do. So that's actually pretty decent. So we're gonna set those off to the side. I'm gonna try to adjust the camera a bit. And it's just kind of weird because it's on a a ball swivel. Let's see here. Um Yeah, you know before we do those Hacks. Um, so the biggest thing, um, kind of, I thought would be super cool uh, to do um, with the Sword and Shield uh, Nuzlocke challenge that I'm doing. Um, I ended up actually picking the starter Pokemon for uh, the Score Bunny to Reboot to Cinderace as a. Um, Kind of a hint um, towards to this halftime show. I actually got a 
uh, theme deck with uh, the Cinderace, the final evolution of our score bunny. So, yeah, plan all along. It's like I actually have thoughts. T H O U G H T S. So now this one's also kind of a little anticlimactic because um, it tells you what's in the deck um, in this little info bar here. But it, regardless if that actually is what it is, it is what it is. Uh, what the heck is happening? okay and once again this is my uh first solo stream generally i uh stream with um malattack and spud so like i don't got i don't get them to like cover my um awkward silences or i can't bounce off funny jokes with them even though i think the jokes are funny some people don't granted best thing about it is that there are they are uh not offensive so we're gonna toss that over there deal with the plastic here um, so these end up becoming, um, so these are theme decks. So they're all based around a specific Pokemon theme. So uh, you get a, paper play mat. These paper play mats are dope. Um, yes, paper, paper play mat, dope. Quick start rules, because they always got to give you that. Some shiny counter pieces, which I believe are redeemable in the game. And a bunch of this is just paper stuff, so... Um, a little blurb on the theme deck. Uh, welcome to the Pokemon TCG Cinder Ace theme deck. This deck is built around the powerful fire type Pokemon Cinder Ace plus other amazing cards from the Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield expansion. Cinder Ace is fired up and ready to go. Um, it also gives a neato hinto about how to actually play the deck because, um, Normally, when you get theme decks um, in the Pokemon TCG Online, they don't really tell you how to play. You just got to figure it out. Um, so light it up. Your main goal is to evolve into Cinderace quickly and use its Flame Cloak attack to power up for a big hit. You ne can never have too much Fire Energy because you'll be discarding it with Bright Flame. Play this for one... Uh, for Jeez, I can, I can read. Play this one for a quick win. Fire-type decks can sometimes run out of fuel. So good hints especially for players i don't know what is going on reload what is going on exit uh we will need to There we go. We're gonna we're gonna do that because I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. Well, we're gonna let's see here. Some more junk. Oh, here we go. So, some nice, nice hint cards. 
So what you can do during your turns, just some tutorial stuff. Um, you can go down the list. Special conditions. Um, I believe they are backsided. So special conditions asks, tells you what special conditions are. Oofda. Gives a specific condition. I believe there's a special condition confused. There's probably a better way to actually keep these. Um, but they're just handy tutorials because um, we got poisoned, uh, confused, so you just, cards get turned around. Um, so a little, a little bit more different than um, what I, I'm used to with uh, Magic: The Gathering, but pretty easy. Um, I think what I need to do. is move my visual over because I want to make sure that I'm able to actually like this can actually be seen and not be too blurry and in fact we might as well shift this over like this because I'm in a different spot than actually where I was doing the actual other stream so here's what we'll do we will um you know, set those down because there's one other thing here. Kind of a shiny coin. A nice little soccer bunny coin. And they say it's metal, but I think the only metal bit is the actual design on top. And then the rest is generally plastic. But pretty weighty, pretty big. They probably need to make it so that um it is a direct 50 50 between the coin flips because there are cards um that i've experienced in the online game that makes it like actually you gotta flip a ton of coins um so i think we will shuffle some of this stuff back over to make room for the other stuff. I should have probably done this a smidge better. Just kind of wrap this guy up. That guy away. Uh, save that code card for myself. All right. So actual deck comes in a deck of uh, like its own actual little deck. So like um, these theme decks come with um, special a special deck print um, that actually look pretty nice, pretty solid. Um, kind of like a standard playing card type deck. So we'll open it up, slide it out. Yeah, we'll keep that off to the side. You get a bunch of f fire energy. Because, like the little blurp said, you're going to. Need quite a bit it a bit of it. Ordinary rod, pretty decent. Um, let's try to get it up. Um, let's you choose one or both to uh, shuffle up to two Pokemon from your discard into your deck, and then up to two basic energy. So that's actually a pretty good uh, recycle. Double. The evolve uh, stage one Pokemon evolves from Wooloo. Um, let's see here, 130 colorless Cotton Guard during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks. Pretty decent double edge. Uh, three colorless, 120. This deals 30 damage to itself. So. Mm, not that good. 
No, I mean it'll be good for a one one hit KO type thing. Switch basically does what it says it does. It lets you switch out uh, one of your active Pokemon, so the Pokemon actually fighting, and into um something else. Um, uh, what is this? Okay, all right, and then the next one. Oh, hopefully no one heard that because I just bumped my mic. Um, next card, Wooloo. So this is the stage one form. So this is what you'd play first, and then that next turn you can play this the the uh, double. Um. 70 health one colorless energy for tackle so it could be a grass energy it could be a fighting type energy it could be a fire energy um so he you probably pretty much just want to add one energy to him evolve him into double and just deal with cotton guard because it's probably it's probably the best one another fire energy uh, probably stack it like this. Uh, Great Ball uh, lets you pretty easily search for your deck. Take the top seven cards off your top of your deck. Grab a Pokemon. Okay, all right. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on going. I'm gonna try to go through this as nice as well, I wouldn't say slow, but definitely as possible. Because um, I actually don't know what's in this theme deck. Because I I I, um, I got the Rilla Bloom one, uh, Rilla Boom one, right off of. Uh, the online game all right next one drampa um basic pokemon um he is what a lot of people thought um dunsparce would actually evolve from when it was first announced because dunsparce is uh probably one of the best pokemon out there to date um everybody can come fight me on that hot take So we'll we'll kind of set him off to the side. Um. All right, I apologize about that. I got um, I need a lawn uh, a lawn riding lawnmower. So uh, my loving wife found a good deal on one uh, close by. So we're gonna try to get our hands on that. So sorry about getting real quiet there. Um, next one, Raboot. Um, he is the stage one, so he's the next evolution of the actual car, uh, Pokemon that we have. Um, seems pretty decent with 90 health. One energy for kick for 20. Two energy for heat blast for 50. Um, and that's pretty pretty easily doable. Um, and it's kind of a strong, stronger attack. Um, and he only has one... Inner, inner, any energy retreat cost. Um, so he can swap in and out pretty quickly. Um, although having no retreat cost is obviously better. Um, 
let's see. Next one, Sudowoodo. He's actually pretty good. I actually like the Sudowoodo. It's 100, 100 health. You literally drop one energy on it for the double draw. So he's pretty beefy. You just set him out there. Play one energy on him. And then every turn, you draw two cards. That's actually, I like this Sudowoodo. Some more energy. Our second Raboot. And then our first Score Bunny. So Score Bunny, 70 health, which is um, kind of the middle of the road for most basic Pokemon from what I've seen. Um, uh, one energy for Tackle, one Fire, and one any energy for Flare. So, I mean, once again, that's that's pretty, pretty easy to pull off um especially that's turn two if you have a good hand you got score bunny play him down as your active pokemon one energy turn two two energy evolve into raboot and then you're just blasting stuff for 50 damage so pretty in i i i, I like that i like that um pokey kid search your deck for a pokemon reveal it and put it into your hand then shuffle your deck um I mean that's pretty self-explanatory. That's how you that's your that's your card ramp. That's how you get stuff very, very quickly. Um, I think I'm gonna actually kind of put my trainer cards in a pile because their art's not as interesting. Uh, in my opinion, towards the actual like Pokemon Pokemon cards. Keep the energies just in a stack. Professor's research. So this is the um, just a rebranded uh, Professor Oak from the base set Pokemon, which is what me uh, and my older brother are pretty familiar with. It's just discard your hand and draw seven cards. So if you have no card, if this is your last card in hand, you play it and you just draw seven cards. It's that's the best time to play it. Um, next one, BD. Attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. So this one is kind of your mana ramp. So you're going to, since you can only play one energy, you play your other only one uh, support uh, supporter card to play a second energy. And that's So if you got something on your bench that you really need to get up going fast, put your one, play him, put a second one. Or her. I'm actually not sure. We're, I think it's a he. I don't remember. I, I think we need to get further into the game uh, to figure out who who they are. Hop. Draw three cards. Pretty, pretty basic trainer card. More energy. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is kind of defeats the purpose of the blind boxing unboxing when you got to go through it and just pull out all the energy cards but I don't got time for that we're just going to take them all and we're just going to put that off to the side like that um Next one, Nine Tails. Jeez, Nine Tails. Um, 120 health, Flame Cloak. Attach a energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So um, that's a quick way to get to the more powerful Fire Main. Got its base form, Vulpix, standard Vulpix. Um, there's there is a better fall picks in the starter theme deck for um, Pokemon trading card game online where it's one energy for um, a 10 damage attack and then a colorless for roar which lets you kind of mess up the opponent side by uh, um Swapping them in and out. 
Let's see here, just another Wooloo. So I think we're kind of getting into our doubles. Drampa. Yep, Bidee. Oh, here we go. Pokemon Catcher. Flip a coin. If heads, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon if they're active. So if someone retreated with 10 health and you really wanted to get that one, do that one. Coin flip. Wherever I put uh, the coin on the, the table, I don't know. Uh, score bunny another switch we're just gonna kind of getting into just duplicate trainer cards three great balls which is super nice another pseudo another hop I think that's three hops three professor uh, another vault picks raboot Double, Pokey Kid, Hop. Yeah, so there's just there's a lot of cards to get cards in and out. Um, I think they're I think that's our th second or third Pokey Kid, which is kind of good because you need to evolve a lot of these guys uh, pretty quickly. Pokey Gear, um, super good card. It lets you just search for a support or supporter card because uh, all supporter cards are support cards. Oh, oh, it specifically says supporter cards. Okay. Well, that's still good because you can get play this, which is not a supporter card. You can just play all support cards. Grab a hop. Play hop. Draw three cards. Let's see. Another nine tails. Hop. Great ball. Uh, third Wooloo. Another score bunny. So you got three score bunnies, two Raboots. And then we get Cinderace. So this is, oops, Evolve Form. Kind of what we're going to get. Kind of get it at an angle so we can kind of see all the colors. Um, 170 health, Flame Coke. Same thing as uh, the Ninetales card. Just deals a little bit more damage. Um, and then Bright Flame, flip a coin. If Tails, discard two energy from this card. Uh, or from this Pokemon. So do the Bright Flame get tails oh no just do flame coke for a couple turns and then hopefully you're not getting too beat up um with kind of the flat fast and loose um kind of way this acts i'm actually surprised they didn't give you a potion uh a potion card or some type of healing card um here i actually just kind of swiffer through the Nope, no potion cards. Okay, so no way to heal, so you just got to kind of play a little fast and loose. Um, and then every every theme deck, because they are super cool, they give you at least one shiny card. This one has kind of like a broken triangle glass uh, holographic uh, design uh, kind of in front slash behind the actual card art i'm trying to make trying to get it to to do its thing without getting too much glare on it but i see to be um kind of failing at that uh yeah so yeah um yeah definitely very aggro um fire 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 type 10 so pokemon i feel like is really really weird um that it's super like magic the gathering just like simplified for a better term so you know you find like your fire uh your fire type to be like your mountain type where you got a lot of aggro um you got a lot of moving bits um the one starter theme deck that i played with online um had a lot of control to it um it had la uh, a lapras that let you find find uh support cards it had uh, a support card where whenever you put an energy on a pokemon it heals some damage and then you had a sea king combo that if it got healed one of its attacks would do a lot more damage and i actually like that one but since it's a theme deck i can't actually play it in the standard rotation um online but that's okay because that's what the theme rotation is for but then unfortunately you also only see a couple uh Pokemon cards going that way. I 
Um, okay. So I think what I what the last thing we'll do for tonight is an actual pack opening because we got some stuff we need to do for the online game because they're everybody loves codes so we're gonna shimmy sham this to the bottom as best as we can um, I wish I actually had scissors up here because it'd be easier to get out but hopefully my luck goes good because I haven't done too many online packs so I feel like my luck hasn't built up enough for all the bad draws from the online so we will ooh, see okay so they do they do things a little differently they have their uh, art facing the crease so we will open it as quietly as possible there we go we'll just put the card art okay let's see if i can remember how to do this so we're going to take the top three put them down take the top two top top two there we go put them down And then this one should be the energy. Okay, yes, so this is the energy. Okay, perfect, so we'll just get that out of the way. Okay, so I think I did this actually how you're supposed to do it. Um, so, he, grass energy, perfect. So, coming through, we got a Alolan Rattata, which is a dark type instead of a normal type. Um, I don't know what this symbol means, this uh, little grayed out symbol. I hope, I think that might mean you don't need an energy to play it. Um, so it's like just always available, but I might be wrong. Um, so during your next turn, this Pokemon, Pokemon Spite Attack deals six, uh, deal, uh, base damage is 60. So focus energy, next turn deal 60 bite damage. You know, put that down. And we got Magikarp. Basic Magikarp, weak as crap, doesn't really do too much damage. I mean, we're looking at splash, 10 damage, coin flip. Actually, that's actually pretty not pretty bad. I looked at it. If heads prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So this is more of like an agility Magikarp. Okay, so that's not actually too bad. So we got uh, Panseer, so one of the elemental monkeys from black and white. Um, I think I see him a lot in um, the trainer challenges on Pokemon TCG O. Uh, the oh, who is it? I think it's the the NPC or um, the computer AI named as Mike or Mac one of the two then we got cutie fly I think these are the commons um, really weak 30 health is really really low uh, in fact that is a substitute trainer card 30 damage low one energy, uh, one colorless for Fairy Wind, ten damage. Um, its evolution is probably a lot better. Let me move it. Pan Pour. So this is the water version of uh, Pan Seer. So actually, pretty funny that uh, we got that one. Uh, hopefully, um, I think we should be done with the commons i think this is our last comment so no we won't be getting um 
Pan Sage, I believe, is the green one, if I remember correctly. And then flip. Tynamo. Ooh, that's our reverse holographic. So that is a common 40 health Aqua Shock. If your opponent's an active Pokemon has any water energy attached to it, this uh, attack deals 30 more. So if it's uh, against a water deck, 40 damage. If anything else, just standard uh, 10 damage. All right, so this one should be the uncommons. Great. Soul Rock, double draw. Okay, so this is going to be much like uh, the um, Sudowoodo. One, you get two draw, Solar Heat. If there's any Stadium cards in play, this attack deals 20 more damage. So Stadium cards are kind of like, um, I don't know, they're like, I guess the field cards from Yu-Gi-Oh! As best as I can put it. So next one. Palmyra, I don't recognize her. I oh, it's just a, a a named team yell grunt. I think no, she's probably from um, Sun and Moon. I I didn't play that one, so I don't know who this is. Uh, discard two cards from your hand. If you do discard an energy from one of your opponents, Pokemon. Okay, so that's actually not not too good. May not be bad for the Cinderace deck. Then you just discard uh, energy cards. Oh, here we go. Semi poor. So we actually got the evolution to our pan poor. 90 damage, scratch, uh, aqua reflect. Move a water energy from this Pokemon to one of your benched Pokemon. So you can kind of move some of your energy around, which kind of is super helpful. So our. Jeez, oh what one is this one? This is our. What would be our next one? Probably our super or secret foil. Escape rope. A super rare escape rope. It's gold. That's how you know it's super. Uh, geez. Each player switches their active Pokemon. Okay, so it's just basic escape rope. You, uh, each player has to switch their active Pokemon, but since if you play it, you get to choose which Pokemon they get to swap out. That's actually pretty funny. Um... The more sought after one that I've been seeing on the uh, Pokemon Facebook groups is the super rare level ball. And I think it's probably because more of the art than anything else. Ooh, it's, oh, it's actually textured too. Is the other one textured? No, the other one's not textured. This is actually textured. That is super weird. And shiny. Ooh. I'm just going to get glare on the shiny. Okay. So we'll pop that bad boy to the side outside of view. Just so we're not getting any glare. All right. Got to check my time here so I'm not going too over. Because this is... Really more supposed to be a halftime thing, but I think we might actually just be doing this for the rest of the time. What is going on? Okay, I, for whatever reason, am having issues with my computer mouse so now I get to do some other stupid stuff by essentially going to my dashboard on my phone to make sure that I'm not going over any hours or at least no more than normal set off to the side uh, I think I should probably do these. Okay. All right. So the next one. So this is kind of the old old set. Newer set. Even newer set. 
Um, I don't have any of like the newest newest set, which is uh, the Battle Styles. Um, I just don't have any of those packs to do anything with, especially on the online. So let's pop these guys down ever so slightly and gently. Pull this off screen and away from the mic so I don't cause issues with the mic. Leave everything face down so I'm not causing issues to see what's going on. Okay, so we got card code. I'm going to keep those because I'm actually trying to build up my online collection. Okay, let's see. So first three. Then two. This should be energy. Yes, okay. So steel energy this time put it like this okay I'm gonna get good at this okay so vault pick so that's that's the same same vault picks that we got out of um the theme deck uh nick it um this nick it actually is pretty decent uh instigate your opponent shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck if they put any cards on the bottom of the deck in this way they draw draw three cards so um really actually really good the like within the first couple turns or if they just professor oaked or um the professors researched um and they got a whole hand of seven you play this card down uh, or swap it out put a darkness energy on it and then that seven cards becomes three uh, so that's that's really uh really really good way to just kind of mess up their deck uh bell toy um pretty decent i mean it's just a basic pokemon basic pokemon tend don't tend to not be too super crazy uh chin chow uh lure and glow which is a switch so this is a an electric uh, electric type fall picks um, which has a attacking move and then a roar type crabby love crabby prefer I think I spelled that wrong so crabby oh I love crabby crabby is actually one of my favorite like Gen one Pokemon just because it's it's just a crab. It's a crabby. Um so Aqua Shower, this attack deals ten damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Ooh, okay. So this actually a good spread. You know, you can start putting damage counters on stuff throughout the board, and Vice Grip just deals 30. So Aqua Shower, not gonna really kill uh, or uh faint a lot of the uh a lot of the Pokemon, but it's gonna make it easier for your follow-ups to to beat get the beat on them uh reversed <laughs> reverse follow uh hollow uh raboot so the same raboot from the theme deck so that'll be nice i'll be uh sw swapping that out because everyone likes uh um shiny decks I've known a lot of Magic the Gathering players um, spend a lot of money to get uh, shiny all, all foil decks um, at my lo local game store, or not so local anymore. I moved away from that place, but I still refer it to as my local store because that's where I essentially grew up. Double um, doesn't look hollow. Some sometimes it's kind of hard because the light doesn't hit it too well um but it does have some coloration in the actual text block i don't know if we can really see it maybe if i there we go some little discoloration kind of cool all 
Aurora Energy. You can attach this card to one of your Pokemon only if you discard another card for your hand. As long as this card is attached to one, it provides uh, every type of energy, but provides only one energy. Oh, okay. So this is your every energy. Um, I feel like this was in the like original base set or maybe fossil or jungle. It was it's within the first like four sets. Um, oh, you know what? No, I'm thinking of rainbow energy. This is a different rainbow energy. Rainbow energy is just every energy. Aurora, you got to actually discard something. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool. It's like a more balanced rainbow energy. Okay, so next card. Lumberry. So this is a Pokemon tool. So this is going to be like equipment from Magic the Gathering. Um, I'm going to be uh, equating a lot of stuff to Magic the Gathering because that's that's kind of really what I know to be close to Pokemon. I have way more years in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but with all the mechanic changes in Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. So let's see here. Uh, at the end of each turn of this Pokemon, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is affected by any special conditions, it recovers from all of them and discard. Okay, so it's essentially just a Lumberry. Um, all right, so next card. Lapras. I like Lapras. Lapras is one of my other favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Um, although it doesn't look like it's foil, so we don't get anything super... Super crazy, but Aqua Wish for four inner water energy. This you may put two energy uh, attached to your opponent's active Pokemon into their hand, so um, that slows down a lot of their Pokemon. So that that'll be really nice. So let's actually grab the shiny cards and put the shiny cards on top because it better like shiny stuff. Okay, so now for the new, newer one. So, Rebel Clash. So, uh, this one will probably have newer um, newer cards for the, uh, uh, the theme deck here. So, we'll shuffle it down. Pull it away from the mic. Open it up. Make sure I'm not looking at the, oops, looking at any of the cards on accident. We may just have to like, shh, put the card pack there, keep the code, because like I said, we got to expand our collection everywhere. Um, okay, so one, two, three, one, two, and then this should be the, yep, energy, so darkness energy, or, yes, I looked at the, um, my screen there, and it looks blue, okay, so we're gonna flip it over, got a not two, with, uh, me first, just draw a card, uh, a lot of a lot of times when a basic Pokemon is like this, I tend to use them in the uh, online game as a more of a like a sacrificial lamb. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's probably like really great Zatu cards. Um, I just don't have them yet. Trubbish. Um, originally, not one of my. Uh, not kind of really I actually kind of hated Trubbish at first but um the more that I actually played with him because he's actually really good in his evolved form um in the actual Pokemon games I actually he grew on me um like a fungus <laughs> there's a fungus among us so Venusac if the opponent's attack active Pokemon is poisoned the stack attack does 50 more damage so there's probably like a bunch of like he'd probably be good for like a 
um, dark grass or a dark psychic because a lot of the poison type um, poison and bug types are spread between grass and psychic um, although more are in psychic and I don't remember when that split happened a P dove chirp search your deck for up to two Pokemon with fighting resistance reveal them put them in your hand then shuffle your deck okay so that's actually pretty good um I know in the original base set uh, there was a Spiro that had um, resistance to fighting and it was considered super good um, because I guess fighting you really didn't have a lot of fighting resistance so fighting and um, uh, fi uh, fighting and colorless tended to have a lot of issues. Uh, Helio Helioptile. I'm probably saying his name wrong. Um, Thunder Jolt. This deal also deals ten to itself. Okay, so probably one that you want to sit on the bench and then evolve it at some other point in time. Uh, Voltorb. Uh, low health for kind of a, a Voltorb, um, especially since it's a base one with only one elo evolution, but um, that, oh, so for one attack, or for one color synergy, flip a coin until you get tails. This attack deals 20 damage for each head, so um, if you're on a lucky roll, this could, could actually deal a serious amount of damage, so that's probably why they have it at 50 health to kind of balance it out. Got a shiny duplicate of uh, Heliptile. Trying to grab the corner so I don't reveal too much. Full heal. It recovers from all st status ambulance. That's always super good. Training court. Oh, this is one of the stadiums. So once during each player's turn, that player may put a basic energy from their discard pile into their hand. Okay, so that one actually might be super good to add into... The theme deck um to help out with um keeping that energy coming back and forth so that's actually a pretty decent pull um what is that that is a uncommon because it's got a diamond dual blade my second favorite from the x and y series um it's just a bunch of ghost swords two ghost swords um go steel so because he's a steel type so slash 30 damage uh double slash flip two coins this card deals 80 damage for each head so it'll either deal 80 damage 160 or no damage which kind of stinks okay and then the back one um so just a uh non-foil rare bar bar barkle bar barkle um, oh jeez, I'm trying to remember. He was Sun and Moon, I believe. He's either Sun and Moon or Black and White. Didn't play those two. Well, Black and White, Black and White 2, Sun and Moon. Oops, didn't play those two. So he has Rock Curl, this attack damage. It's a, damage isn't affected by resistance. And then heart, Hand Press, if you have more cards in your hand than your opponent this attack deals 80 more damage pretty decent um, I think we will toss up the Heliotep because everybody likes shinies set that off to the side grab the last one for tonight just kind of Open it up. Try not to ding dang darn the the cards. I'm gonna need it. I don't. I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention to my chat, so I don't know what uh, I'm gonna need, Mal. Um, I'm guessing energy, because I believe that's what we were talking about. So Rebel Clash. I'm gonna kind of put it off to the side. Um, I may have to figure out a better camera placement because I gotta bring it up and out 
Yeah, all the energy. Yeah. Yeah, all the energy. That's uh That's what this set's for. <laughs> um 100 100 energy cards to to do all the energy. So I probably actually won't need any of the energy out of these packs, but I'm going to keep them because I may want multiple energy or multiple decks with the same energy um, combination or monotype energy um, just so that I don't have to constantly be swapping out cards. <laughs> okay, so keep the code card for myself or to figure out uh, another time. So let's see, one, two, three, one, two, this should be the energy card. Yes, it is, so electric. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> I think those are two different songs. And I gotta be careful, because I sung those too perfectly. Don't wanna get DMCA'd. Okay, so, Snover. So he's a grass ice, so this one, he's a grass type. Um. Not that good. He, you know, he's got some high health, but you gotta um, you spend two turns just to get an attack for twenty damage. So I mean, this is this is really bad. Uh, and then three for Razor Leaf for fifty, which is um kind of on the lower end for a three energy, um, but super bad for a um for a basic Pokemon. Um, this is definitely one that you want to put on a bench and then just kind of put on energy when you get the Obama, Obama snow. Um, uh, Beanicle. So we have um, the pre-evolution, which is pretty good. So we can, if we do a fighting type um, deck, we can um, kind of get a good start. Uh, dual chop flip two coins this attack deals 50 for each okay um so definitely let's grab the barbarical so definitely something you want to evolve right away especially since uh barbarical has um a two energy attack versus the base form which only has a, a three energy attack Jeez, I'm like I'm like getting all this like card game information. I haven't played car a card game in like I haven't played trading card games in literal years. Um, Spud got me into the Force of Will card game like when I was right out of high school or a couple years after high school. Um, yes, I'm I'm, I'm kind of young uh, compared to um, Malatak and Spud, but. Um, originally got out of card games because i was like super competitive and dropped like a ton of money in high school uh playing Yu Gi Oh. didn't work so we're 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 trying to lean away from the physical card game um so that's why we're doing stuff more or gonna probably do stuff more with uh the online game than the physical but you know here we are so next one uh Galarian Darumaka. I forgot about this guy. Um so he is a ice type, but since there is no ice type in the po Pokemon card game, he is just a water type. Might report me for what, Mal? I didn't say anything but the truth. You old fart. Um Sorry, no bullying. That's against terms of service, I think. I don't know. I haven't no one reads that um let's see here ice punch two energy 30 damage um opponent active pokemon not paralyzed so paralyzation is actually pretty good it actually denies the um poke uh, your opponent's active pokemon to attack so they have to either spend a turn retreating it or spending resources to retreat it and then um and then it just kind of kind of messes them up um, cause resources are kind of something you really need, uh, to have. Otherwise, like you really can't do anything 
Like, this card cannot literally do anything if it doesn't have two energy on it. And one of them being a, um, a water energy. There we go. So next one. Ooh, cute Vulpix. So this one is a little more, um, a little bit more, uh, scary because, um, even though it has less health than, um, the theme deck one, it actually has a one energy confuse ray that makes the active Pokemon, uh, the active opponent's Pokemon confused. Confusion eh, on a coin toss. If they fail the coin toss, they just get hit for 30 damage and that's their turn. They can't really do to anything. So, um, may swap out one of the Volpixes for that one that's actually a pretty pretty decent vault picks i like that vault picks uh milk Cree, um he's kind of weird um some point during um my nuzlocke campaign or uh playthrough i might um break the one uh, you know the the multi-catch rule just to just to get uh, milk Cree, not not to actually use but to just show the the weird uh probably get a couple of these guys and then show the a uh, weird evolution um just kind of show that off granted it's pretty um pretty well known at this point but i still think it's as a contact creator it's it's something that should be shown um because it's so random um as to how you evolve it and then the fact that there are 30 six or 38 um different combinations of its evolution in terms of um small details in the looks and then coloration all right reverse hollow metachan um yoga kick this jeez this attack deals or okay so it's just not affected by weakness or resistance so we'll do a flat out 40 damage all the time and then psychic um 60 damage it deals 20 more damage for each energy attached so uh stage one pokemon you're generally doing a about a hundred to 120 damage depending on if it's a if they have a a two or three attack or three energy attack burning scarf if the po if the fire pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent attack even if it's knocked out the attacking pokemon is not burned okay so this is actually super good this one i'll definitely have to toss in that theme deck because um burning is a burned pokemon are um is, is pretty nasty it, it deals 20 damage instead of 10 uh, i believe poison is 10 and then burn is 20 um and then confused is 30 damage on a coin flip so that's actually a pretty cool card uh in ddd got an in ddd i gotta keep looking over to make sure that i get everything situated so replenish time heal 30 damage from each of your pokemon and then Psybeam, their opponent active Pokemon is now confused. No, pretty decent. Actually, I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> and then Skyla, search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Okay, so this is a little bit better than a Poke Gear because you just can get any trainer card. Uh, supporter cards are trainer cards. Um, that's kind of what I was trying to get at. Um, so she, I might have to switch one of the pokey gears out for her. All right. And then the last card, whoo, holographic stone, 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 I'm probably not going to say any of these Pokemon, uh, the newer Pokemon's, uh, name, right? Um, so no evolution, basic Pokemon, 140 health, um, Three damage mega or three energy mega kick for eighty, um, four energy for one hundred and twenty power press, and that's probably one. Um, so if this has five, uh, this is 
if it has uh, one extra energy. So if it's a five energy, you got five energy on it, this it doesn't do 120, it actually deals an extra 60, so it's 180. So that's actually pretty good, but you gotta kinda ramp them up pretty fast. Um, and if you don't got ramp, Pokemon can be a slow game. Okay. Well, that was pretty much it. Um, I do got some more stuff to go through, but I think we will save that for a, another uh, time. Well over time, and don't want to kind of like get too carried away, um, especially since we're streaming on uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, so thank you for coming to my halftime event within my stream uh unfortunately my halftime event became the last half of my stream so thank you for all who are here who have stayed uh don't forget if you liked my material to um uh follow because i do do other stuff um planning on doing another solo experience thursdays i got uh co-play thursdays with malatag and spud and um we're kind of running around with path of uh path of exile and um warhammer vermintide too um so yeah keep follow uh follow the channel follow their channel um and hopefully we'll see you at next time Bye-bye.